I'm not an executive. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm you. Like you don't, you don't realize that shit. Mm. But I think being around that type of behavior also kind of deterred me from it because I was in a space where I could just, if I wanted to create something or if I wanted to do something, I would just do it and it would happen. Mm. But now I'm on the other side where I've, I felt like I was begging for a role, and um, it was, it was hard for me. Well, I mean, I, 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 I hear you, and I, and I, what I hear is the language that you've created for that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you, you've created, you've created a story around. Um, uh, what you, 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 your perspective is for me, it's like when you say you're begging for role, no one's, you're not begging. You know yeah. I mean, you're kind of, you're not going into the room and begging. If you are, you're going into the room and begging, uh, for aud these auditions, then you're never going to get a job. Yeah, for you, sure. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you for me, it's like, I, I changed my language. I, I, mm. If I were you, I'd, I'd think about my language. I would, I would never say begging. Yeah. Um, it's an opportunity. It's, um, a chance to, show what you you're capable of whether you're right for the part or not it's um a, a chance to collaborate mm -hmm. you know what i mean so for me it's like in you th 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 having you just you saying begging and even when the, these other young actors are looking at you they either one that you don't know if they recognize you they recognize you from your social media status or from the movie they may have seen or um just like you you're you've accomplished something that something a lot of uh, a lot of actors producers haven't quite done yet which has gone to sundance which is yeah. you know distributed a film and which has um, accomplished quite a bit you know what i mean so if you think of yourself as a mirror people and other people in the mirror you you are reflecting back something that you see from yourself in that person. Mm. One, whether it's a, it's a good thing or it's a bad thing or it's envy, it's a, it's um, admiration, it's all these things. You know what I mean? So for me, I would say like you know, think about what you're saying and, you, and, and the language that you're using. That you're not a beggar. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you say you're a beggar, then you're a beggar, and then you're putting you're putting that kind of energy into these meetings, into these networkings, into all the stuff that the business you know requires. Yeah. Um, for, and, and think about the way you can spot, put us positive spin on it you know what i mean i don't mean to therapize you but no i like this because like I, I think um yeah maybe begging is the wrong term i think it was more like i just um i was just on the other side where i i think like if i wanted to make something happen i could and then now there's this this red tape right and sometimes too it's it's this is why I think it was really for me to figure out whether I was going to be an actor or not, mm -hmm. right? And when I was watching a lot of my friends who are actors, who I really admire, they didn't have this mind state that I had. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm a sh like you said, like I'm gonna show you what I have, whether I'm good or not for this role. And I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if mentally I could have like broken into that. Also, too, I don't know if like my headspace was right for the reason why I did something. And what I started to realize recently was that the reason why I created that film was out of spite. <laughs> you know, mm. so after after I proved my point, it was like, what next? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you proved your point. So, well, are you still going to continue this? So you you got your foot in the door, dude. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with it? And I didn't really think about that. Well, don't you think it's you know you live your life, do what you yeah. want, man. But just you think there's you know you you've again you've accomplished something that a lot of people haven't. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got you got in the door as an actor. You got in the door as a producer. Did you say you wrote it too? Yeah. Okay. So as a, as a writer, so those three huge jobs that you've done, um, you know, right out the gate, you know what I mean? So uh, w you, uh, it's almost like, it's almost kind of a responsibility um, to a certain degree, if you choose to, to, yeah. to have it. It's like, what can I do with this responsibility now that I have it? How can I, one, if you don't like doing those things, how can you help someone else who really wants to do those things break in? You know what I mean? Because right, for me, it's like the what I hear, and I could be completely wrong. Yeah, is that this is centralized to you? You know what I mean? This is that your feelings and and you're you're pushing and pushing and 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 eventually no one's going to call you. Yeah, you know what I mean? And the people that admire you too are going to hear that you're that you you're you know you're talking shit about but you, you what you've accomplished. You know what I mean? So uh, I mean I, I mean I'm just again I'm just saying I'm. Don't mean to therapize you, but what what can what do you think you could do to um, to help those do what they want to do that you don't want to do? You know what I mean? That you don't have really if you don't have a desire to be an actor, cool. It's like I, for me, it's like when I broke when I first broke in. Or like, let me let me first go back. Let me go way back when I decided. So I was going to school in Nebraska. Um, uh, I was a college. I was in college. I was a cheerleader in college. Um, and uh, this girl in one of my classes, the short story is she convinced me to move to Atlanta, Georgia with her to study acting at this acting class called What, what Films um, with this guy named Judson Vaughn, who's a producer and he's a longtime actor and he's a, um, 
back in the day, he was a, a very, he worked a lot as a character actor. Uh, it, really, really, really great teacher, kind of gave me the foundation. But as in my road trip from Nebraska to Atlanta, um, which we drove like 16 or 17 hours straight, I I don't know why, but, um, and, I, and I didn't really know the politics of Latinos in the industry or people of color or, or, or the diversity. I just knew that I wanted to, so I actually had this conversation with myself on the drive down. It's like, I want to get to a place in my career where I can help open the doors to other people, especially Latino, but people of color, people who want the opportunity. It honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like if it, as long as they're right for the role, if they're right for the part, for cast, crew, whatever, that they want to do something. I want to get to a part point in my career where I can go, I can help you get that opportunity. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, um, and, and I'm, I'm like, by, by any means, I don't, I'm not, no one powerful in the industry, but I have, I've been able to do that. I've been able to go, oh, oh man, this is, this, you should talk to this person about this role. I think he or she would be really great. And they end up booking a role and like they have, you know, either it's done really great for their career or they've done something really great. And, and it's, you know, it's been a nice, nice stepping stone. You know what I mean? So I guess having said all that, is like, I feel like, you know, especially people of color in an industry that's diversifying now that um, it's been kind of tough over the years and it's still a little bit tough and still trying to like, we're trying to make sure that we're not getting pigeonholed and stereotyped and getting uh, 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 um, proper exposure and, yeah. you know what I mean? All these things. It's like, I, I feel like I feel like, and I, I and again, by any means, I'm not telling you what to do, and you live. Like your, you don't even got to say it. Just live your just live say your, your shit. life. Like I like this. <laughs> live, live your life. Okay. But I feel like you've you've created an, an amazing opportunity for you and people around you. It doesn't have to be the Asian uh, uh, culture. You. It, to help those who have a have a desire to be an actor or be a producer or a content writer or something yeah. like that because you've you've created something right you've created a world that you have a, a platform now that you can you can help people and i'm sure you're doing it already yeah you know what i mean but um f again for me it's like it's changing the language how can i how can i change my language to make sure that i'm uplifting others as well as myself, you know what I mean? Cause I don't want to be writing my own story saying that I'm, I'm, I, and I am, I am a bit jaded as well. Um, but I'm trying to write my story that I'm not, that I'm trying to help other people, even yeah. if it's not myself. I mean, I a hundred percent agree. I think it's just, um, I don't think anybody prepared me for what, mm. what was, what this industry sure. was like. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah Cause yeah, I was yeah, on yeah. this other side mm -hmm. and even the, the friends who are actors right now, they don't have like your wisdom, you know what mm. I mean? So like hearing this from you, it feels really good because mm -hmm. like, I think it is true that 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 language, like it's very negative, like the way that sure. I speak about it, right? Yeah. And, and it was a very great opportunity. And when I was living it, it felt great. You mm -hmm. know, it, it felt awesome that I could create something that was from my story. And, you know, the person who wrote a majority of this was this guy, Justin Chan, and Justin Chan fucking killed it. It was his baby project. Right. And we worked on it together. And, you know, I, I think like the motivation was kind of rooted in, in, in a very spiteful way. Mm -hmm. And so like, I don't think I thought about the positive aspect of what could have happened after versus just making this film. Mm -hmm. You fucking recognize me, bitch. <laughs> right, <laughs> you, right, right, you put right. that shit out. Right. And so now it's like, I guess sometimes like, I think the reason why I want to create, like I still want to create like films or I continue to write is mm -hmm. because a lot of the stuff that, yeah, like, I mean, there's films like Crazy Rich Asians or whatever, but that doesn't represent my life as an Asian American. Sure. It doesn't represent my story. And it's, it's you know, it's very small. It's like a small scope of what people have sure. as an Asian American experience. So sure. when we did this film, Gook, it was about an Asian kid like me. Sure. Yeah, you know I mean, that grew up in Sacramento, California, grew up in a predominantly black area. And, you know, it was very multicultural and it was, uh, you know, I wanted to do out things outside of what people told me that I could be. Right. And so sometimes when I watch, see, I don't even know if this is a positive thing. It's like, dude, like I, I, I want to do better. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's fine. Like I want to do better than what's, what's, what's out there. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is the only content that people, or if sometimes I feel like people say that this is the, Asian content that Hollywood will take. And I'm like, there's more than this. Sure. Like, let, let me show you what there is. Sure. So I don't know. Like I, um, I don't really know what my real motivation to stay in this industry is. Mm. Like this podcast was literally, I started this as a way just to help people, mm -hmm. you know? And so that, that in and of itself is great. Um, well, here, here's a couple of things that I, 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 I just thought of is that one, I, I had to learn it too. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So quinceanera, it's about, um, 